Hello everyone, this is Sin Fury Heart. As someone who is familiar with the Disgaea series since Disgaea Hour of Darkness, I have finally got around to playing Disgaea 6 Defiance of Destiny. It was originally released in the West on the Switch back on June 29, 2021, and was finally released on June 28, 2022 for PC, PS4, and PS5. And for those wondering, yes, all the DLC characters are in this version. I see. How's this? <laughs> the protagonist this time around is Zombie Boy Zed. With the powerful spell called Super Reincarnation, Zed goes on a journey to different worlds to keep fighting the god of destruction no matter how many times it takes. The whole reincarnation concept is a nod to Isekai anime. I found this to be amusing since reincarnation is a feature from the previous games. And in my opinion, it works out for Zed since he is no ordinary zombie. The story of how he overcomes this difficult challenge is told very well. I will mention that you do revisit worlds due to story reason. The good thing is they are never the same maps with the same geo panels and enemies. The blood of the royal family revives the hero automatically. Understand. So long as his majesty exists, it's impossible to defeat me. Really? It's good to know. Y you don't intend to kill me, do you? Oh, that's a good idea, too. But I have something better in mind. If he revives no matter how many times I kill him, then he's perfect for grinding experience! Yeah! <laughs> what was that? Hey! What are you planning to do? Cease this violence at once! And revive! A conscience? <laughs> if I did, it must have rotted away. <laughs> this is no different than when I was fighting the god of destruction. <laughs> Come back here, Mr. Experience Boost. How has it come to this? I absolutely cannot believe what's happening. As a veteran of the series, there are a lot of changes and upgrades since the very first game. My knowledge of the previous games was helpful, but I had to get familiar with the new changes they made in Disguise 6. Weapon skills are no longer required the old way, but instead most of your skills will be leveled from the skills shop. Leveling your party members has changed drastically. It seems a lot of ability skills make it more accessible to grind EXP faster. The juice bar is great to have around to speed up leveling and class proficiency. DI, or demonic intelligence, is very handy during auto battles, especially with those long trips in the item world. Destroy! You should eat more sardines! Chico's turn! Don't go easy on them! Let's go! <laughs> See? Be gone! Sardines! 
Start over from level one. Secret weapon. <laughs> I'll modify you. Any help? I see. Splendid. <laughs> Quite effective. Auto battle is a godsend for item world traveling. Speed up animation as an option is very much welcomed. And there are more features that I have noticed compared to the previous games. While it seems a little overwhelming at first, you eventually understand how useful these new features are. Ah yes, I should point out the obvious change in Disguise 6. The visual change from 2D models to 3D models. In my honest opinion, it really doesn't bother me, but I know a lot of people were not fond of the new look. I have loved the character models ever since Disguise 4, and they have been using them for a very long time. It was a much needed makeover to try something new. For those who are new to the series, I would definitely start with Disguise 6. While I do suggest giving the older games a try, only play them casually or play until you feel satisfied. I don't recommend trying to complete every Disguise or NIST game in existence. Unless you enjoy torturing yourself, then I won't stop you. You have to keep in mind, from Disguise 1 up until 4, each game has different features. Some worked out and some were removed later on. I will admit, I haven't played this guy complete for the PC, so I can't really say what adjustments they made. I played this guy 1 and this guy on PSP. I really enjoyed the PSP version the most. My apologies to Switch owners who played this game for the first time and had to pay for the DLC. The sad truth is, most of the Disguise games are known for this. Overall, I had fun with this game. The story of Zed's journey to defeat the God of Destruction was very interesting and similar to previous Disguise protagonists. My only complaint was how many times you had to fight the God of Destruction. It felt like they overdid that, but I understand the reason behind it. It was to test how far Zed would go and how much he can keep going until he fell into madness. I think out of all the disguised protagonists, Zed is more of a softy, especially since he deeply cares for his little sister. I honestly didn't expect that in a zombie character, but it works out as a motivation for Zed. The world of Disguise is well known for silly and cute characters, and the unforgettable humor is still the same, and I am here for it. Elves in a brand new world! Behold! The fair city where Prince Zed and I fell in love, despite being born into opposing families. Like hell we did! Oh, Prince Zed, Prince Zed, wherefore art thou Prince Zed? And while we're at it, why art thou so rotten? Uh, because I'm a zombie? Duh. Come, Prince said. Once from our families we flee. La la la, together we shall always live happily. Uh, running away isn't gonna make us happy. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. The only bad things I can mention, I have only experienced a few times where the game would freeze, but the game will recover quickly. I get really worried when a game is about to crash, but as a long time Disguise and RPG fan, I always make multiple save files, just in case. I have read on Steam reviews that the frame rate goes nuts while in the base. I slightly noticed it, but it was more noticeable when I played the demo on my PlayStation 4. The fans were really loud if I stayed idle in the base but immediately quieted down once I went to a menu or interacted with an NPC. The price for the PC version has made a lot of people upset, and rightfully so. The Sky of War Complete Plus also has all the DLC included and it's much cheaper. I would just wait for a sell for Disguise 6. As for post-game content, it's enough to keep you busy. If you want a more difficult challenge, Land of Carnage and Rakasha Mode are there. Thank you all for sticking around and watching this video. I want to mention that I have a Patreon and here is my first supporter. Thank you Rad for your support. It's much appreciated. Have a good day, take care, and goodbye.